What's up, guys? Ghost Shredder 822005 here bringing guys this, uh, my first 80th anniversary review. And I'm in an uncomfortable position, so you can't see my face. I'm gonna try to get this packaging segment over with. It's the Marvel Legends Family Matter set. I got this off Amazon, ordered it about a week ago, and it finally came. Um, yeah. That's Quicksilver, Magneto, Scarlet Witch. Inside, Magneto, Scarlet Witch, and Quicksilver. The back, a bunch of artwork, you know, different colors of Quicksilver, which is cool. Same more artwork right there. And then, uh, bada, so here are the figures. Uh, let's crack them open right now and see what we're dealing with. That was a Child's Play reference. If you haven't seen it, then I guess... And here is the Trio family. All of their packaging, not including Polaris, which, you know, they should have... I think they should have included a bit of Polaris in the set, but they didn't, and it's all right. Uh, it did fix my heating and light problem, because, you know, without the light, it looked like that, and that was awful. So I fixed that. And I finally got so hot in here, so I don't hate reviewing. Because I used to hate reviewing in here because I didn't have a heater or anything. And the reason my light problem was a problem is because you might not be able to see. But that light up there, <coughs> it died. So the lighting problem was momentarily had to be... The lighting was awful for momentarily. But it was fixed. I'm not sure why my... Okay, there we go. Yeah, the lighting was a problem, but I fixed it. It's all good. Found this little lamp in my, uh, in my house, so, in my garage, so I fixed it. All right, yeah, so here's the Trio family out of the packaging, and I really like this set. Um, had to do a bunch of work around my house and the yard work and crap for about a month, month and a half to get this set, and it really paid off. Um, so we're gonna look at every single figure's, figure's accessory, sec accessories, individually, not together, individually, and we're gonna start with Quicksilver, so let's get to that. And speak, starting off Quicksilver's accessories, here are his, and he doesn't really come with much, but he's not, he doesn't have the least amount, which is Scarlet Witch, but um, yeah. So going into Quicksilver's accessories, he has two fisted hands. And he has two split open hands for running. I'm trying to enunciate better on this one because I know it's I just sound like oh, da, 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 da. But yeah, okay. Switching up the hands is really easy. You get plug it in like that. And you know that. And then unplug it like that. And then you plug it like this. And it works fine. I will have them with fisted hands because I always do this thing to where like which hands would I rather never lose. I keep the ones I'd rather keep and never lose on the figure, and I keep the ones that I don't want to lose, but if I lost them, it'd rather be these than these. So these will be in a bag somewhere. And, yeah, so those are all Quicksilver's accessories. So we're going to take a close look at Quicksilver, actually, right now. So we're doing this three-pack review. I don't think I've ever done a two-pack or three-pack review at all, actually. I'm not sure. I might be wrong. That's a big chance I'm wrong, but, you know, um, let me think for a second. Oh yeah, I've done, the, I did the, um, Crossbones and Captain America 10th anniversary thing, okay, yeah, I did that, but this is like my first three pack, and my first three pack actually ever, but yeah, um, getting into Quicksilver, he is probably my least favorite figure from the set, not saying anything about him being bad, he's just probably my least favorite, um, Hopefully the light isn't too bad. I don't want it to be too... That's too bright of a figure. Oh, yeah. So he's a really... He's a pretty good figure. Um, You know, he's not the best, but he's not the worst. I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, but, um, yeah. So, yeah, I have a few problems with him. And the problems I have with him are the the, the little design, a little lightning splash, might might call it. The, the painting on it is kind of awful. It's all over the place. So you look here... Like, it's missing spots there. I don't like how it doesn't continue up the chest. That kind of sucks. Um, and, you know, it's a lot. I had to paint, use a black Sharpie. Get it. Like, there you see, like, little mismatched spots, and the back's awful. I mean, like, good lord. Like, what was going through their mind, honestly? That's awful. It doesn't continue on the back either, which I do not like. Miss paint. No, I was missing this little extra piece of paint. Right there. You know, like,. They didn't really, they don't really, they just kind of like skip, skip the ball with the uh, paint on this figure, and it really sucks. 
In fact, the, the figures, it's pretty good. I just the paint's kind of awful. It's all over the place. The head, I think this might be the Reed Richards head. I'm not sure, but the head, it's... Focus, 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 my iPhone. Okay. Yeah, the heads are... I'm pushing this to the Reed Richards head. I'm not sure why his hair is gray, not white, but it is. Um, yeah. Back. Um, yep, the back of the head looks pretty good. And it can, overall, the paints... The paint's just kind of meh. Honestly, on this figure. Getting into articulation of Quicksilver, he looks up a great amount. Down, you know, pretty good amount. Looks side to side, and kind of neck pivot. He has butterfly joints. I'm so happy they went with this body mold instead of the pizza fireman body mold for him. But yeah, butterfly joints. When they teased them, I thought they were going to use um, pizza's body. Okay, I'm sorry, getting off track. Um, so outward that much, downward all the way, all the way around. He has bicep swivel. Double joint elbows. I never liked these these elbows on this one because this one only ends, bends in that much, and that one only bends in like that one been good, but like this one only bends that much. You can't get all the way in. So like yeah, that's basically it. This might just be my problem, but it's basically just a single joint elbow in my opinion. Yep, I'm not sure if I went over this. Both hands swivel and hinge. Uh, he crunches forward that much, back that much. I, I had to I had to dunk all dunk all these figures. And, um, hot water. I, mean, I didn't boil the water. I just turned on the hot water in my sink. Pulled the thing up and let it sit there and let them sit there for about, like, two minutes. But, yeah, um, yeah. He has a waist swivel, which is kind of tight. Kicks forward that much. Back, not really at all. Out, not at all really either. He has an upper thigh. Not upper thigh, well, upper thigh cut, yeah. Double jointed knees, which I really like. He can... Almost touches butt, but he can't exactly. He needs a boot rotation, which I really like. Ankles move down. They do move up. He has an ankle pivot. And that, yeah, that's really it. Uh, this figure is really cool. Um, I mean, he's okay. okay that, um, the only problem I, I had problem with the paint. The paint's awful. The paint is really just awful on the on the chest. Uh, double joint elbows. Just a problem with every single um, Sunfire body mold. This is my favorite body mold for any regular figure, but yeah, um, he, yeah, he's alright, he's a, he's a pretty good figure, if he was, if he was by himself, he'd probably, I'd probably wait till he went on sale to $15, which is, it'd probably have to happen, but yeah, overall, any other figure, he's pretty good, he's pretty good, I'd give him like a 6.5 or a 7, but yeah, he's alright, so let's get into Scarlet Witch and her accessories, and here are all of Scarlet Witch's accessories, and I know, guys, it's a lot, the accessory segment's gonna take a very long time to do. It's just a lot of accessories, so hold back. How about these? Uh, I really like these effects. I preferred over the uh, first release of the MCU Scarlet Witch. Speaking of, this is my first Scarlet Witch, actually. Um, yeah, this one was really cool. This one seems like a little too like loose and hangy for some reason. Like getting her out, like getting her arms like this one. It fits perfectly. Around the arm, you know, no problem, like no falling off or anything. You know, I just sit the arm down like that. But this one, I don't know. It was it was the one that was squeezed up in the top of the packaging, and it just it just seems a little loose. Like yeah, it seems a little loose in the figure. I'm not sure if I have it on wrong or like what's happening. We just move my camera up. <clears throat> yeah, and there we go. Yeah, so yeah, moving the camera up. You know, you see like the figure. Yeah, it just it's, it doesn't really fit on the figure at all actually. It had to like, kind of rest there, which I what I've done recently is I've just wedged her finger between there, between that. You can see, and that's kind of what I've done so far. So far for pictures, Sometimes I just kind of finagled it, and it yeah, like that. I don't like this, and it worked pretty okay. And you know, speaking of pretty okay, it's just that that's what she is. She this figure is pretty okay. Uh, the head sculpt is where they threw the money on. That is a main. That's amazing. That's an amazing head sculpt. That that's that's just beautiful. The cape separate piece. Everything. I keep trying to put it like that, which is stupid. But yeah, the head sculpt is amazing. It's a very pretty head sculpt. I'm trying to say that without sounding creepy. Yeah. 
It looks really nice, and the paint is really cool. I like the classic costume. I didn't get the Odin build a figure one because I didn't like the heels. I didn't like, the, I didn't like the head sculpt at all. And this one just fits perfectly. I really wanted that classic look. My first Wanda figure. She's going with my Avengers, and she will be in the Avengers Endgame stop motion. I'm only two minutes in. I just haven't been inspired to do stop motion for that recently. I'm sorry. I really just haven't been. I, I'm trying to. It, I'm not sure if it'll be out before summer break server, but I'll, I'll try to find a way to get it done. But yeah. You know, so going on articulation for Wanda, there's no really paint problem. It's swirly, twirly plastic. Uh, she looks up, not at all, because there's no hinge. Doesn't look down at all either. Uh, side to side. On this move. It has no neck pivot because of the hair. On this move out, that's much. Back, that much. And no biases swivel. Single jointed elbows again. <clears throat> Double jointed elbows, please. I'm masking nicely. Um, man, they hinge like that. Swiss swivel, hinge down and up. Diaphragm joint, crutches forward, only that much. Back a little more. Kicks forward that much. Back that much. Out that much. Pretty good. Thigh cut. Double jointed knees. Smooth down, up, and do an angle pivot. This was the had this figure had the tightest joints in the packaging for some reason. I'm not 100 percent sure why, but she had the tightest joints. She is the one that kind of kept under the water a little longer than the others because I just couldn't. I every time I moved her, I thought she was gonna break. Which you know I do not like that feeling. And yeah, so she is pretty good actually. I really don't have many complaints, you know. She's exactly what I expected her to be. I'd give her like an 8.5. She's pretty good. She is alright. She is better than Quicksilver. She didn't have sloppy paint. But yeah, she is pretty good. Alright, so let's move into my favorite figure from the box set. And that Magneto. is... Magneto! And he is has a lot, a lot of accessories. have one problem with one of them. Which came out of the packaging like that. Actually, I have a problem with a few two heads too, which we'll get into in a little bit. But this finger is bent, like you can see. That this one looks okay. This one looks like this finger's broken. I put it under hot water, moved it towards that way, and just slowly bent back. So there's nothing I can do about it. But it comes with fist and hand too. Fist and hands too. And those are really simple to uh, plug in and out. I'll just plug in. Dang it! Okay, plug it in like so. This is a little difficult sometimes, but like you just kind of have to force it down the peg. Okay, yeah. Come like that. It won't. Well, is it hinge on this mine not working? Okay. Hinge isn't working on this one. Yeah, it is. It's just really tight. I don't want to risk it. But yeah, I keep the split out hands on mine because why wouldn't you have him with split out hands? That's just strange. Yeah. And looking at the heads, I do have... Actually, let's look at these real quick. Um, these, this is the same effect. A little bit of glitter, if you can see. Yeah, and actually, Scarlet Witch's effects had glitter, too. Yeah. These effects have glitter in them. They, look, they, they, do, they do their job. They're okay. They're pretty good. And the problem I have, to have with the heads is, well, we start with the one that has most problems. This one, each one, both of them had this problem where the piece right here likes to just come out I'm not sure why I want them to be like that but like I, again put it under hot water and just slowly can pick up I might try it again later with boiling water tomorrow but you know we, we don't know but yeah they're pretty good favorite head sculpts eh, I'm not sure probably I don't know probably like this one more because it's just like the one you can have anything this one's really cool though. It kind of reminds me of the Marvel Zombies one. But yeah, plugging that head on. We'll go plug this one. Dang it. Okay, dropping everything. Plug it on. And I really. Ah. Okay, yep. I think I did a little more by accident. But yeah. And I hope, really hope I'm not. not like, I hope I, I am enunciating in this review. If I'm not, I'm sorry. And yeah. Well, I, I, I mean, you can. So people do is they take it out and 
you know, do it like that. And do it like this, which I'm guessing is what they want you to do. Let me just put my tripod broke, so it's getting a little bit difficult to pull it up. This is what they want you to do, I think. Which I never like that. It looks kind of stupid. So what I usually just do is with the effects is I put them right. I there's little holes in them everywhere, and I just wedge the finger inside of it. And then I just wedge the other finger inside of it. Boom, boom, clack. And that's why I usually always do with it. No, but taking these hands, there's effects off. And looking at the figure itself, and I did a mod on the figure. I know. I know. And actually, I did the same mod with Mysterio. Because his cape was a problem. Honestly, both of their capes were a problem. What I did with both of them. With Mysterio, I put the peg in the figure. Put super glue in the on, in the hole in the figure. Put the peg in, and then this was flying up and super glued under under that. And now it's not a problem. It won't move at all. It's not coming out. I mean, like if you don't want if like if you don't if you want the if you want the cape to come off eventually, then it, you know that's gonna be a big problem because it won't come off once you do the mod I made. But you know what? I didn't if I, if I don't, who would want Mysterio with this cape? That's awesome. Mysterio with this cape is great. And you know, now, you know, it just works better and everything. And the cape is easy. To, like, you can still, like, put this thing up the cape and everything. You know, it still works and everything. Yeah, this this Mysterio is amazing. I, I love this guy. He's awesome. I cannot wait to get Endgame over with, so I can hopefully do it far from home. Stop motion. Yeah, moving Mysterio to the back to finish off him. But yeah, what I did with him is I, um, super, I, well, I can try to show you. I didn't glue the peg in all the way. Well, I was going to show you guys this. Um, yeah, what I did was I didn't, I, I, it's really hard to see. Um, there's like a flash thing on this. Okay, I turned the brightness up for a second. Um, uh, yeah, everything looks awful now, but yeah, I cut. A tiny chunk off that. Because, yeah, I did that. <laughs> Let me fix the brightness. Yeah, okay, I did that. I'm putting to plug it back in. This is okay. Um, come on. Where's the peg, man? This is really difficult. Super glue. Part of it. Dang it. Okay. okay. I didn't. I'm not sure why this is a problem right now. Probably I'm trying to do it through the camera. Oh, come on. So then, it's almost, and it's it, okay, great, great, great. Okay, now it's stuck like that, dang it, okay, um, okay, I'm, this is a big jumbled mess, I know. But yeah, I did that, but yeah, so what I basically, oh, come on, I kind of messed up the figure trying to put the cape back. Come on, come on. Yeah, okay, yeah, so basically after that, uh, the, the thing was writing up, like, on the figure, like, it was writing up. Okay, focus, 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 yeah, it was writing up, like, here, so I put super glue on the chest, and be really careful doing that, actually, because I was doing the custom tentacle mod with a diamond select Dr. Octopus, and I was super gluing those bendable tentacles in there, and I accidentally glued my diaphragm joint on him stuck. So now he doesn't have diaphragm movement anymore, which really sucks, honestly. It's it's my fault. I can't blame anyone for it but myself. But yeah, it sucks. But yeah, um, be careful when you're doing that. I have the tiniest bit right here. Got a little piece of toothpick and just like scraped it up real here to keep it away from the joints and everything. And super glue it down so now it stays. You can actually stand and it won't like come off or anything. So I can actually now move it, move my everything. And speaking of movement, on a really great segue, both heads look up, that's much. Both heads look down, that's much. He goes all the way around. He has a little bit of neck pivot. Um, arms move outward really only that much because of the cape. Forward that much. Back 
pretty good amount. Upper thigh, not upper thigh, biceps, biceps swivel, double jointed elbows, which bend in, pretty good, better than, uh, okay, they bend in much better, in my opinion, than the Sunfire body mold one, but yeah, like that, all hands swivel, the dislocated finger one swivels, uh, and just out, out and in, swivel, ab crunch, Crunches that much forward, back, not really at all because super glued up. But like, I bet if you like didn't have a super glued up, probably work. Swivels here, kicks forward that much, back a little bit, upper thigh uh, out that much, upper thigh cut, double joint knees. Ki uh, kinda, it's, it doesn't really go great, honestly. It isn't the best. I'm not sure why, but like, they don't really bend all the way, so he definitely cannot kick his butt. Boot rotation, ankles move down. Up a little bit, and there's an ankle pivot I did not show. I didn't check, and nope, she cannot cut her butt either. But yeah, let's get into some size comparisons, then we'll go into my final thoughts of this figure. And here is the Family Matters set next to Charles Xavier in his wheelchair. And here they are next to him, not in his wheelchair. And here is the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, what I have so far. I'll just call them the Family Matters set. Characters. Here they are next to my OG toy Viz Magneto. And this guy I've had for a, li a long while. He he served his purpose. He, he served his purpose. I really like the MS. The cape started to tear on me. It sucks. And the joints broke so I had super glue so they won't move out anymore. But this guy served his purpose. He had a very wonky proportion. See, I think he used an Iron Man body mold. But comparing him... Next to the old one, the old the, the hand next to the new one. The new one wins. The new one definitely wins. But he he's okay. If you bought them at, bought them separately, and you had him, you just had this guy. They they could they could work all right. They could work okay. You know he has very weird proportions and very weird joint weird joints. But you know what he he works fine. He I never had any loose joint problems with him. Except for, you know, his only having, yeah. But, yeah, you know, if they, if you only had him and you bought them separately, then, you know what, it'd be fine. You would be okay. Here they are next to Sabretooth, and I like this. I like, I really like this. We need an updated blob and a toad. I need to get that mystique at some point. Here they are next to my Kit Bashed Logan, and I do think the head on this one rides a little too high on the peg. I want to shave down the peg on the old man Logan body mold a little more because I think it's just a little too high. But yeah, you know he fits all right. He, he's pretty good. He fits with them all right. Like how I like how he's, how much shorter he is. And here they are next to my OG Toy Biz Nightcrawler, and I really do like this guy. I have no problems with him. I don't if I I don't think I'll order the new one, but if I see him in person and he only costs twenty dollars. 25 I might get him, but for now, I'm not going to order him off Amazon, but for now, he is a perfect another crawler. I have no problems with him. And here are the Family Matters characters. I'm just a lot of words in this thing. Next to Scarlet Witch's Boo Vision. And I need, I really need to get that new vin vintage one. I kind of forgot that existed, but yeah. So, overall, I give this entire set a 9.5 out of 10. I really like all of them. You know, some of them have their problems, like Quicksilver with his paint apps, Scarlet Witch with her effect piece that doesn't really work so well, and Magneto had some problems with this disjointed finger and the bent mask. But overall, this set is really nice. It is $60 on Amazon. I put the link to buy it in the description. And I, if I, my enunciation was a problem, I'm very, very sorry. But yeah, um, hope you guys like this video. Like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next review, which should be Beast, Beast, and Peace.